Thank you for coming to Productive Corporation's Two Minute Tech. Today we're going to look at deploying an agent in Kaspersky Labs KESB. Today we're going to take a look at deploying Kaspersky Endpoint Security Version 10. First we're going to hop down to our unassigned computers group. Then we're going to go to Active Directory where we have our machines plugged in. Go to our domain, hop into computers here, and here you can see a list of machines that don't yet have Kaspersky deployed to them. I can sort these by OS type if I want to deploy by machine type. It's not a requirement though. I can click on a machine, hold down the shift key using standard Windows commands and highlight a whole group, or I can hold down control to get a custom setup. I'm going to hop in to install application. I can also click on it over here. I'm going to choose Kaspersky Endpoint Security 10, and since this is the, this is the last thing I've deployed, it defaults here. Since we have the advanced version of Kaspersky, we can also deploy out non-Kaspersky related software packages, including OSs, but today we're talking about endpoint. So I'll do next, next through this. I'll choose my correct license key. A new customer is only going to have one key to choose from here. Here's where I'll put in my administrative credentials. And my password, of course. Kaspersky is role-based, so you can have different admins with different capabilities on the network. If you're competitively uninstalling a product, you'll need to do a reboot after the deployment is complete. I can force that reboot right after the deployment happens. I don't have to do a restart or if I want to manually do a restart later, or I can engage my end user to help me out. And I can put in a custom note. and I can configure the time. So I'm going to remind them every 30 minutes, but I'm going to force it after three hours. Here's where I can see the competitive products that can be removed using the Kaspersky uninstaller. All I need to do to turn it on is simply check the box, and then I can verify that the product that I'm currently using is in the list. If you don't see it here, reach out to your productive rep, and they can help you get a free script written by Kaspersky delivered within 48 hours. Final step, I can move this newly deployed machine to an existing group. If I haven't created groups yet, that's okay. I can put them into default, or I can create new groups from here. We're going to move this machine into the workstations group. When the deployment is complete, it's going to take on the policies from that group. Next step here is to start the deployment. Thanks again for coming to view exclusive content on ReadTheCorp.com your security and storage software expert for mid-sized companies. If you have questions about pricing or licensing your specific environment, give us a call or request a quote on ProductiveCorp.com.